Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever studio vlog. This video spans a couple of weeks documenting a few creative projects that I'm currently working on when I have time, since I also have a part-time job. So there's some sketching, sewing, embroidery and collage. I really love a lot of different crafts. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's quite chatty and has some nice ASMR type sounds, so I didn't put any music in. I'm going to try to upload every Wednesday from now on, so make sure you're subscribed and I will leave lots of information and links in the description box, so check that out too. Hello everyone, um, it's now Tuesday the 19th of April and last week I was doing some studies of bats um, and I'm actually going to be designing my own plushie from these drawings um, which is something I've not done before but it's going to be a gift for my boyfriend's nephew and I've got this book, which I thought would help. Um, so it gives you like some key techniques for making, you know, different 3D shapes from fabric. Um, but I've made lots of little teddies and things before, but they've all been from other people's designs. So I'm going to document the process of that. I also went to Hobbycraft at the weekend and I wanted to share some of the things I picked up and they're going to be for this which I saw online and I just I had to get this because it looks so cute and um, you basically make this whole sewing box and these little accessories This is one of the elements that we make a little cover for, and then you can easily cut a thread here. And then I got this, which is for threading a needle, and I thought that would be really useful, especially for embroidery thread. Got these pretty scissors. Very cute, and um, say so that'll be those ones there. Also, for this project, I picked up these beads because the theme is like a garden, so I thought that would match. So, my plan for the rest of today is going to be testing out the actual construction of this with some fabric. I've also got the fabric that I'm going to use, which is some old clothes, and I'm going to cut those up and wash them today. And then I also want to like learn some new embroidery um, techniques. 
I've got this book here, stitches like that that I want to learn. I've got all these threads in there, which I'm trying to organise as well. So yeah, that's a few things to do today. Okay, so this is the velvet top, which I'm going to use for either the inside or the outside of the wings. Then we've got the corduroy skirt, which is then going to go on the side of the wings that the velvet isn't on. And for the body, because they're kind of fluffy here, I found this huge blanket, so I'm going to be able to make loads of things with this. I picked them all up from, you know, charity shops. This was from a vintage shop. So it's all gonna be upcycled. This one's actually got a little beaded section. And I wanted to use the beads, but they seem to be like shedding some of their plastic like coating, which is kind of annoying. I will cut that part off and I might be able to reuse it. the floor looks now. <laughs> These fabrics are in the wash now. I'm just going to put away the bits that I didn't need and I'm going to find some just scrap fabric which I'm going to make a kind of test with to see how I can construct the wings. All these fabrics are, well most of them, things I picked up in charity shops that I want to create things with to use the old materials. But I'm running out of space so I should probably start making some more things. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is from an old curtain. See, this was the lining. I will use that for the test. Okay. So, quick update. I'm just working on um, how to construct the wing. So, I've got this scrap fabric and I've got two pieces there and I've also got some of this wadding. Once it's sewn I'm gonna try to make these like quilting um, so then when I sew those lines they'll become like 3D because of this.
I've sewn one wing now and I'm actually like pleasantly surprised that it came out quite well. It's got the wadding so then I did some like quilting onto it um, and I really like the effect that that's created. You know it's a lot more detailed but in the sewing process it's kind of simplified it quite well and so I'll probably work on a shape like this rather than having too much detail. And then the only other thing is that um, I want to put like a little lining of plastic in here and then it will make this nice crinkle. But now I'm starving and it is lunch time. Okay, it's a bit later now and I've just um, made a second wing and I cut out a rough body shape and this is my rough attempt at working out how to attach the wings so let's see if it has worked. Let's take those pins out. I think I caught one tiny bit there. Okay. So I think it's basically wet. So this would be the fluffy part. And yeah, I put some plastic inside there so it makes a nice crinkle. And I was thinking of putting some velcro here and then his head would be there. I'm pretty happy with that. I just need to refine it a bit more now. It's four o'clock now. And I'm gonna try finish at five. So for the last hour, I'm gonna use this book and learn some new embroidery stitches. Okay, I was just about to start doing some embroidery and then I discovered some exciting mail. So I ordered a couple of magazines from Unique Magazines. Uh, it's a shame it came in plastic but now I've got some more to use in the wings. So I ordered Daphne's Diary which I've bought in the past and I absolutely love it, but I've not got it for a while. And then I got the latest issue of Molly Makes, which again, I've not bought for ages. But recently, I've just been getting back into more craft things and paper things. So I'm excited to read them. Right, it is five o'clock. Time to stop for the day.
Good morning everyone. It's now Friday and it's just gone 9am so I'm super happy that I've managed to make an early start which is kind of unusual for when I'm working from home and hopefully I can make a habit out of this. Today's plan is to edit a video which is going to show the process of a recent illustration I did. Hopefully that will be the previous video um, before this one. So once you've watched this you can go watch that as well. And then I might make a reel for Instagram because it's Earth Day today. So I thought I'd make something for that. I'm going to try and focus until 5pm and then next week we'll get back to sewing the back. Hello everyone, it's now Thursday the 28th of April and I thought I'd take a break from doing this back project and I want to make a little planner in this A5 binder. I've been trying to do digital planning but I've been finding it's kind of distracting to like be on your device all the time and I kind of miss the paper feeling, I guess. So I've got some different papers here that I want to use as the cover. So I might, this is like a vintage paper bag. I might use that. And um, this is a little lino cut that I did. So I might put that on there. I've also taken some papers out of the latest Daphne's Diary magazine. And there was even a poster in there, which I thought might look quite nice um, to cover this. Um, and some little handmade papers. But first, I think it won't stick to this shiny surface, so I'm going to remove that. I'll probably reuse this as well for something else.
finished. I think I'll leave that to dry before I do the inside parts and before I decorate the cover anymore. Because this tissue paper is really delicate now. Okay. Hello everyone. This is all dried now and I've cut out these pages from Daphne's diary which I'm going to glue in here now. gaps at the top um, which I wasn't sure what to do about but I think I'm just gonna put some collage bits all around here and that will just cover that up. I'm gonna decorate the cover as well. So this is a, actually a little piece that I made um, by sticking a few book pages together and then I just painted over the top of it and stuck some lace here. with how all of that looks. So let's look at the cover now. It's a bit gloomy today. It's bad, huh? I'm using this one um, to get glue over so I don't mess up this one since I do like sewing here as well. So that's why I'm using this.
found some of this super fun sparkly paper, which is actually a sticker. So I think I'm going to cut some small bits of this and stick it on here. My battery's about to run out, so I'll probably leave it there for now. I'll see you all soon. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please take care of yourself. Get some fresh air, do something creative, maybe turn your phone off for a bit. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.